The other day, there was a woman ahead of us trying to find a number on the opposite side of the street. Dad said when you look off the road, you just naturally kind of drive the way you're looking. <laughs> she sure was. She almost got hit. It seems that a driver not only has to watch out for his own car, but he also has to keep his eyes open for everybody else on the road. You know, drivers aren't the only ones who cause trouble. A woman tried to cross in the middle of the block, and it's a good thing Dad was on the job and wasn't going too fast. Some people just don't seem to consider the other fellow. We were at a stop signal, and a car squeezed in on the right side of us and shot across in front of us as soon as the signal changed. And every car driver must realize that a license is a privilege. It just means you have to recognize the rights of others. The best drivers are those who know the rules and why we have to have them. They think ahead, so they're always ready for emergencies that may develop. And even though they have the right of way, they don't insist on it when it could mean danger. It's pretty easy for you to spot good and bad driving habits, Mickey, especially with the experience you've already had in driving a bicycle. You know you have to watch the road and keep your mind on traffic and signs, signal and road markings at all times. You know you have to stop for pedestrians, even though they may make the mistake of crossing at the wrong time against the signal or the wrong place. Some people are in such a hurry that they obey the laws only when they're being watched or think they are. They forget that traffic laws and policemen protect us all. And of course, you need a bigger margin of safety when you're driving downhill or when you're driving in snow, or rain, or slippery roads. Because these conditions make it harder to... And soon enough, watch for pedestrians. There's a stop sign. Look out for the other fellow. 